Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy, and today on Broke Aristocrats, we're going to talk about how to be frugal during a pandemic in the month of December. And the reason that I decided to do this video is because a lot of people are really concerned about the holidays coming up in December. They don't have a lot of money. Everything has changed from maybe where they were at last year. A lot of people have lost their jobs, etc. the pandemic. So here are a couple of things that I decided that I was going to start to implement in my home, and maybe they'll be helpful for you as well if you're struggling financially uh, during the month of December. The first thing I, I uh, wanted to talk about is to change expectations about what this holiday season is going to be like versus other holiday seasons. Your friends, your fa family, the people that love you and care about you understand that you're struggling, they're struggling. And so one of the best things that we can do for our friends and family right now during the pandemic is to let them off the hook and say, I'm not receiving any gifts this year for the holidays, save your money. Use that money uh, for your four walls to pay your de uh, debts, keep a roof over your head. I think we need to give everybody a, a get out of jail card that, that nobody has to be sending presents this year. It's just uh, it would be uh, better. There are better things that we can do uh, to save money. If you really still want to do presents, uh, you can do homemade presents, uh, et cetera. A lot of people are doing that. But if uh, if it's really more than you can handle right now, I think just letting everybody know that you're canceling the gift giving. In my immediate family, we don't gift give anymore. We donate to charity. And then we tell people, if you want to give me something, this is the charity that I'm endorsing this year. Uh, so that seems to be working out really well. Younger children, it's a different story. But I really think that one of the fastest ways people can uh, save money is to just stop with the gift giving just for this year. And don't be guilted into doing anything you don't want to do because the truth of the matter is, is that everybody needs a lot less pressure. So it's okay to quote unquote, cancel Christmas, cancel Hanukkah until times are, are better. Maybe do something a little bit uh, more simple, humble, less expensive if you still want to do something. The second thing is, that I think is one of the most important things you can do to have a frugal December is to do an account and a reckoning. We talk about it a lot on this channel and it goes back to old times when farmers, uh, people would uh, uh, look at their homesteads and they would just check their storage bins, et cetera. And I really think that it's something that we can all uh, do and learn from. And that is to just do an account and a reckoning. An account and a reckoning it would include how much money do you currently have in savings? How much money do you currently have in the bank? How much are your bills? You know, what do you owe? What is your debt? What are your assets? What do you have in terms of money, et cetera? Uh, that's an asset. And what are your debts, et cetera? Getting yourself organized. And there are some great channels out there that can help you do that. But really finding out where you're out, where, where you're at. Now, in terms of an account and a reckoning for the month of December, you really want to uh, uh, look at everything from kitchen all the way to the bedroom. What do you have? What do you not have? If you're going through your home and you're doing an account and a reckoning and you're also donating, donating or giving things away to charity, uh, which is another great thing you can do uh, during uh, holiday times, people uh, may need new winter uh, may need winter coats, etc. So when you're doing your account and reckoning, you may also find that there are things you don't need that can be donated. One of the most important areas that you can do an account and a reckoning and just figure out what you've got is your kitchen and your pantry, particularly during the holidays, before the holidays, so that you can begin to not spend more money than you need to on those special di family dinners if you're planning on. Uh, doing like a low-key family dinner for the holidays. Again, an account and a reckoning of what you already have and then creating meals based on what you already have. If you go through your kitchen cabinet and you find out that you've got a ton of rice and a ton of beans and, and a ton of dry goods, then you maybe want to plan your December holiday meals to incorporate some of those uh, dry goods into, into the dish. You know, some people like to make a Christmas chili, for example. Uh, but whatever you decide to do, start incorporating into your holiday dinners what you already have. It'll reduce the cost, right? You won't be spending as much as you did before. 
and uh, you uh, will be using up what you already have. The other thing that comes out of an account and a reckoning is that you're going to be able to create a new budget for December. Uh, you know, you always want to make sure that you can pay for the basics so that you uh, so that you're going to make it through the winter, what we call the four walls. After you've done an account and a reckoning, you want to make sure that you've got enough money to pay your rent or you've uh, reached out uh, to find resources about rent forgiveness, right? So the four walls are like your rent, your utilities, your transportation, your food cost. Uh, I would add a fifth one, which is your health care whether you're paying uh, health uh, care out of pocket, health insurance, or have some kind of other arrangement, but just making sure, sure you have uh, good health care. But, but uh, that's basically what I do for the month of December and that, what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, and that is to make sure that I have my four walls, my basics paid for in the month of December. Uh, I'm going to drop my food budget so that my budget incorporates more of what I already have. And that includes my holiday budget as well. I'm canceling uh, gift giving uh, this year, again, also just to pull back on the finances. And of course, I always like to do an account and a reckoning just to see where I'm holding in the month of December in case I have to adjust anything uh, going forward. All right. I hope that helped everybody see what I'm up to for the month of December to save on holidays. Tell me what you're doing and be sure and share, like, subscribe, click the bell uh, notification, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.